Hi guys, and welcome back. Uh, Orange Box here. Um, I wanted to do one last uh, frames per second test with the um, Y50. Um, the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is probably, you know, graphics intensity wise, probably the most intense, most newest game that I have. Um, so I thought that I'd walk through this real quick with you too. Um, but before we, uh, really test out the frame rates in game, um, I just wanted to show you the, uh, the graphics options here real quick. So, um, under the settings here, you'll see that we're playing a full 1920 by 1080. Um, and the shadows are set to high under the advanced tab um, texture quality extra texture filtering high um, I would say most of this stuff is set pretty much the highest it can get also in the advanced tab for Call of Duty is they actually have an option to draw the FPS which is nice and it's uh, up here in the right hand corner um, I guess another thing too, before we actually get into the gameplay, um, up here in the upper left, you can see that I'm using Overwolf again. And after we do a little bit of this gameplay to report the frames per second, um, I'm also gonna set up my little phone camcorder. And I know the quality may not be the greatest, but as with all the other videos that I've been making, at least the frames per second tests, that I've been making in the past, I've always been kind of complaining about how much Overwolf uh, kills the frames when you're actually recording. So I wanted to, like I said, make a another short little video at the end of this um, that I'll, well, in the same video, and um, that will that will show that you know this game really does pretty much stick as close to 60 frames per second um, without the screen recording software. So anyhow, let's um, let's go ahead and get into this. And I'm going to play the um, just kind of like the first mission, if you will. Um, and for those of you that have played this before, you know that there's quite a bit of an opening sequence here, and I'm going to skip past all this. I'm also going to skip past this, too. So I'll be right back when we're uh, ready to see the gameplay. So here we are back in, um, skipped past some of the opening screens back into the, the gameplay here. And as you can see, uh, I'm kind of jumping all over between maybe 30 and 40 frames per second while I'm recording. Um, you know, from a playing standpoint, at least sitting here on the PC right now, um, this is still very playable, even using. Uh, screen recording software, I, I have no complaints. Okay, so we'll do this air support call and then uh, maybe hop back into the, the first person a little bit and um, probably call it quits for at least the screen recorded portion. Nice work, Hudson. There's a couple of MG trucks targeting you. I can't make another pass, so you take out those MG trucks. I'm doing it! Oh, I'm out of 
very good at this game, am I? <laughs> um, okay, so I think the, the general consensus here is that, you know, we, uh, we're, we're getting anywhere between 30 to 40 frames per second while recording. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into uh, recording the screen with my cell phone so that you guys can uh, take a look at that. So be right back. Well, now I'm attempting to record the frames per second um, with my phone. Uh, just looking at the video, I see that I think the phone is constantly trying to refocus, but. I wanted to give you a little example of what the frame rates are like um, without using uh, screen recording software. And I think as you guys will see that, uh, you know, as with all the other uh, FPS uh, frames per second videos that I made too, um, I keep talking about how that screen recording software really kind of kills the frame rate. Uh, so I wanted to just add this short little video snippet at the end of the uh, screen recorded uh, capture for frame rates just to give you guys a better idea of what I've been trying to talk about. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'll play a little bit of this opening just like I did in the other one. And um, we'll see how it turns out. So, you know, other than just an occasional uh, spike, um, as far as a dip in frames goes, I think you guys can see that, you know, really, uh, this stays up really well near 60 frames per second without the screen, without the screen recording software. just a little bit longer um, I'm, it's hard to look for the uh, or look at the frames per second while you're playing this crazy game so um, but most of it looks like it's staying right at 60 um, or very darn close Okay, so um, with that, uh, I think I'll call this a video. Um, I just I just wanted to give a quick example of how much the uh, frame rate really does drop when you're using the screen recording software. So that being said, thanks for watching. Please uh, comment and leave a like and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, everybody.